Hi guys, it's Quickie baby. Let's take a quick look at the post-game stats. As you can see, we got a victory on highway with a solid 2400 combined, showing the HE still works even in the new up to, even with the new HE changes. Obviously, as you can see, I have um the 60 TP here. Now it's camo is not very good. And I also don't know why Quickie Baby's Australian. Hold on, give me a second. <clears throat> As you can see, the uh, the camo on the 60 TP is not very good. So I throw low noise exhaust onto it. I'm just going to keep with the Australian apparently. Uh and to bump up the mobility, I'm going to throw a turbo on there, because obviously it can't be a quickie baby tank set up without a turbo, right? As you can see, I have intuition on my loader, because it can't be a quickie baby video without engineering to intuition. And I'll ram her just because the reload is absolute dog shit, and I wasn't going to play this tank without a ram her. <laughs> And obviously, since we're playing the 60 TP, we gotta load all high chicks, high J rounds. So, with that being said, I've already played the game. I'm not gonna show it to you because it was absolute shit. But we managed to do 1600 damage and a thousand spotting in seven and a half minutes. As you can see, we obviously carried the team here. This guy was an absolute muppet. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see. What the? Ah, uh, uh, no, no, no! Get, get it out of here. Get. Ah, no. Ah, 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 that's, oh, oh, so, I'm sorry guys, I, I don't know what came over me there, it's, it's almost like I, uh, I went full Muppet. Anyways, guys, what is up? My name is Go. And we're back with another Game of the Week video. Um, obviously, since this is my first video in April, uh, I wanted to do a little bit of a troll video. Even though it's not on April 1st, but I still wanted to be a little bit of a troll. And, uh, and he gave me the idea to intro as a Quickie Baby. So, uh, you know, QB is the intro. Australian Quickie Baby is the intro, apparently. Um, so anyway, uh, game of the week this week will be in the SP2. So, I'll see you guys in there. Like swim more. And here we are on Corellia with... Asuna, Daddy Asuna, is uh, my platoon mate for this battle, and uh, yeah, we kind of just own them, so, um, I can't believe this still doesn't work, uh, god, yeah, there we go, <clears throat> so, anyway, SP2, <laughs> this tank is, uh, much better than I uh, than I made it out to be. I think in in my video, it is quite quite delicious. Uh, I should have plenty of time to talk in this battle. This is uh, quite a long game. So anyway, uh, this was from the first day of the release of the SB2s, as you can tell by all of the SB2s. 
Well, I guess this was not one of those games that had like four of them. So, four per team anyway. As we get our first shot. Game, 671. I mean, this thing is just absolutely beautiful. This is <laughs> this is literally one of my favorite uh, tanks in the game so far. Like, it's actually my favorite TD because you can actually play the game. You don't have to snipe at the back. You can trade your hit points effectively um, without having to constantly block shots. So, I mean, it's it's teaching me a lot about how to play the game better. I think. Uh, just because it has no armor, right? Um, which was something I was kind of struggling with. Uh, whenever I picked up the 50B, I, which was like a week ago, I was really struggling to, to figure out how to trade my damage effectively without... Um, as we roll for 800 on the SP2 there. Um, obviously, I'm firing full gold because I'm trying to get as much damage uh, as possible. And then we set the chieftain on fire. For fourteen hundred, I believe. Yeah, fourteen hundred. No, twelve hundred. That's only twelve hundred. So he is a full firefighting crew after all. You see, we just we just kind of our team kind of let them take the hill, and it was really really helpful in this game because uh, everybody on my team was pretty much sniping everybody who came up on the hill, and this M60 was doing God's work, spotting everybody who came up on the hill, allowing me and Asuna to just throw shells at them constantly. And it's really just a beautiful game. Now don't worry, we're not going to camp at the back the entire time. We're not, we're not triangle players, come on. Well, I mean, uh, I'm not a triangle player. Asuna is uh, the Sun Signal King, so I mean... But just like that, we are th less than four minutes, or th just over three minutes into this battle. We have four and a half thousand combined damage. And we are aggressing towards the hill to recapture the hill and try and take down the rest of the enemy tanks. Because we're up by 5k and three tanks. So it's just time to push in, right? Um... So, the intro, um, <laughs> uh, I hope it came across as, uh, funny, and, uh, that it, uh, it wasn't too stupid, and, uh, didn't sound like I was, uh, doing an Australian accent the entire time, even though I definitely was, and I couldn't turn my brain off of the Australian accent. Even, I, like, I even, <laughs> you can even hear me go... <laughs> Like in my, you can hear my inner thoughts going. Why the fuck am I speaking with an Australian accent right now? But I just kept going. I guess um, there was no redoing that. It wasn't gonna be as organic the second time. So I literally played a, a game in the 60 TP with all HE and the turbo and the um, and the lone was exhaust just so I could get that. Full quickie baby experience as a soon as is a shot and that's still his kill. Uh, this was the first game I actually got over 4,000 damage in this tank. As we bounce off the lower plate there, I believe that went into the lower plate. Somehow. Um, Quite honestly, I'm pretty sure with the height I had on the supercog, I could have just gone through his upper plate. But now we see the teamwork of the two mega community players simping for each other. <laughs> Notice I took the hit from the supercog, and then he took the hit from um, the SP2, I believe. Maybe it was the V4. As soon as just too slow on his trigger, honestly, like he just keeps letting me get these arty kills, and it's really working out for us. Can we find? Oh, I should have gone around on the SP2. Oh, what was I thinking? But anyway, we're not gonna pick up another kill. So I'll see you guys 
for the actual stats of the actual video. Damn, we're back! So, uh, as you can see, we pl picked up a plethora of medals uh, in this battle uh, for our 6k damage, nearly, and our 1400 assisting with the 3 kills on top of it. Picked up the Brothers and Arm, picked up the High Caliber, picked up the Tank Sniper, picked up the Confederate. Picked up the Pascucci's medal t for dominating those two squares in that game. Because how dare you not play a rhombus. And yeah, as you can see, um, with the help of the M60, who ended up getting 7,000 assisting damage, uh, me and Asuna pretty much carry the shit out of this game. Um... <laughs> Four kills for Asuna, five thousand damage because he's a he's a little scrub lord. Um, can't say anything else about it. He was a uh, he was talking about not getting Confederate in this game, and I was I, I was looking at his stats after the game, and I was like, dude, you killed four of the seven tanks you shot. You weren't gonna get a Confederate. We, on the other hand, did get the Confederate. We only we didn't miss any shots because. The gun didn't troll me this game. Uh, <laughs> uh, did 4,000 damage from over 300 meters and uh, just about just under 2,000 um, from up close. And personal. Uh, got the three kills. Uh, spotted two tanks. Somehow. Uh, 1,500 assistance. Uh, 5.8k damage. And three kills. Uh, net you 1052 XP, which is a first class on the first day, if you didn't know. Uh, to get an ace tanker for um, uh, this tank on the first day, you probably would have still had to get like um, 16, 1700 uh, base experience because uh, I saw some people on the first day who already had 9k games. Um, like really random players that had never had a 9k game before they got a 9k game on the first day of this tank which was probably because there was a lot of these on the, on the the matchups so and there was also a ton of fv of 4005s and jaegerus you want to know why there were a lot of 4005s and jaegerus because they all knew that the armor sucks on this thing. Now, you do actually have to aim at the ch at the the flat part of the turret with an FV to pin it with Hesh, as I found out yesterday. So, anyway, this was a heck of a game. Uh, obviously, we fired all gold, but we got so much. Uh, like different boosts for credits that um, it didn't even matter. Even without a premium account, we would have made fifty-six thousand, fifty-six thousand credits profit. And without a pre or with a premium account, we ended up making eighty-one thousand credits profit in a tier ten reward tank destroyer. So. That will be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.